Far too often in today's society, we judge our own lives by the highlight reels of other people's lives that are posted on their social media. We walk through life saying, hey, how are you? But we don't care to stop and actually listen to an answer. We're quick to start an argument on Facebook, but slow to see someone face to face because we've lost the simple art form of communication. We act on impulse without thinking on wisdom. We approach situations with our minds already made up rather than having an open heart and a listening ear. We listen like toddlers instead of listening like thieves. Look, I will always be authentic, but I am selectively vulnerable. I'm an open book, but I choose who can handle certain parts of me. I hold back on much of what I think politically or morally because I know sometimes a Christian's biggest testament is what is seen, not what is said. I'm not saying this is everyone's approach or calling. I definitely have some people I don't hold back and brutally speak to when necessary because I know that's how they or I need to be loved. But it took me a long time to realize love is different to each and every person and not everyone can be handled the same way. Almost every one of my close friends has different love languages, different moral beliefs, different political stances, and different backgrounds spiritually and physically. But we remain friends because we know a cord of three strands isn't easily broken and we know we need healthy opposition and different outlooks on life in order to grow and continue in our ultimate pursuit that every Christian has in common, regardless of which side of the fence you stand on. We all have common ground if we take the time to lovingly find it. Society isn't having a political problem, it's having a heart problem. Love is absent and competition is present. Parents being friends instead of parents, authority being equal instead of in charge, students having options instead of rules or assignments, manners being an insult instead of what they are, which is respect no matter what age. Men being told chivalry is sexist when in reality it's a way of showing unspoken respect in the highest regard to someone. Children being told to make adult decisions when their minds aren't emotionally equipped to handle certain concepts. We are so focused on being politically correct we've created unrealistic expectations and a fine line of acceptance from one extreme to the other. We see the outward and forget the inward. We've stopped researching or working and instead take on opinions of those we assume have done the work and know what's best. You don't have to agree to love. You don't have to live the same way to tolerate. You don't have to forego topics to keep peace and you shouldn't have to hide who you are simply because a red hat triggers some groups or restroom signs trigger others. The root starts in our hearts and the root became skewed the day Jesus Christ was taken out of classrooms, removed from courthouses, disrespected in pledges, neglected at dinner conversations, and ignored on the Sabbath. One nation under God used to mean something. I suggest we get back to what that something is. Gig'em and God bless.